as you all know, we've been on this journey for, with, uh, with eBucks for a number of years, a big value proposition from a gamification perspective that's, that's truly embedded into everything we do as, uh, from a value proposition perspective across retail and commercial. Um, and then a few years ago, we, we took FinTech and a lot of the outside-in approaches that people were starting to see around the world of, uh, of, of new innovations as to what people can do with the data uh, available in, in banking franchises to, to make solutions available to customers. Everything from you know, getting your credit score uh, to actually being able to do some more meaningful insights into, into your spending patterns. And we created an umbrella for that that we uh, uh, gone to market with under uh, NAV, um, which is effectively helping you navigate life. And we chose three specific areas of focus for that journey. The first was um, the big element of property and its associated consequence to owning property or renting property or living in property, uh, because we know that that's a big chunk of people's disposable income goes to that. The second part was about uh, vehicles and owning a, owning a vehicle, not only the buying and selling part, which is a, a lot of emotion contained in that, but the, the actual ownership, total cost of ownership of, of a vehicle. Um, and then the third element was uh, NAV money, which focuses a lot on helping people spend, be spend better, uh, budget better. And, and all of these elements are relevant both in the retail world as well as in the business world. As you, you own assets, sell assets, uh, also how you budget and you build your business and you expand your businesses. So, so the executions from a NAV perspective really has been very exciting to see how that builds out across our segments. The way we look at NAV and, and the Navigate Live series across home, money, car, wellness, uh, you know, and, and, and some of the functionality we uh, showed today in terms of additional functionality um, is really about, you know, I mean, we are trying to actually help people understand the uh, the, the consequences of money decisions, often people don't think about wanting a mortgage, they think about wanting to upgrade their home or, or, or buy or sell a new home. And, uh, you know, we want to be relevant in the broader decisioning process around, uh, you know, the, 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 the buying process or selling process of a home or a car, or even just how you manage your money. And I mean, I think for, for me, what is very exciting today is to see the launch uh, from Yolanda and team on the smart budgeting tools. I think all of us, I mean, I think we could acknowledge that we've all had great aspirations to track our spend, um, you know, and there's always been lots of tools available, uh, you know, for many, many years, you know, including Excel spreadsheets to help you manage your money and, and classify your spend. But in reality, I mean, most people don't do it because we either lack the self-discipline or, or arguably we don't want to know what's happening in terms of our spend. But the reality is that, you know, I mean, most South Africans, and if we look at our own client base, which we, you know, across the income spectrum from easy uh, entry level clients all the way to private wealth clients, uh, we do see that the challenge we have as South Africans, we are consumption driven and we don't have enough discipline around, you know, saving for emergencies, spending for financial resiliency and financial independence, you know, which is, you know, all part of it. And I think, in COVID, uh, a lot of that uh, came home to, to roost, if you want, you know, I mean, in terms of, you know, when we were in lockdown, everyone needed access to emergency savings. But if we just look at our own data, you know, only 16% of our clients had three months of emergency savings going into COVID. Uh, and even if you take a narrower definition of one month of emergency savings, that number goes to 26%. Uh, you know, so really what we're trying to do with these smart budgeting tools is to help people understand how they're spending their money. And one of the key uh, metrics that we're trying to measure is how much is going to consumption versus going into medium to long-term categories from emergency savings to investments, insurance, health-related activities. And we believe these tools are going to help people understand how can they, you know, shift some of their spend from you know more consumption driven to actually helping to solve for financial resiliency and financial independence which we think is a very exciting journey and the tools uh, that the team have brought up especially the fact that it's you know auto classified you know so that they take the angst away from people having to do it you know it's there you know to the extent we can't classify it as you saw in the videos uh, you're able to classify yourself and the cool thing is as more people classify certain transactions that our data hasn't been able to classify, we also learn from that to 
uh, to then classify that same transaction for other people. Uh, so it's effectively a learning system, you know, that improves the overall effectiveness of the tool. So we're very excited about this journey as we help clients manage their money better. So we're very excited by the potential of, of, of that linkage. And I guess it, 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 uh, it helps in a number of ways. First of all, it opens up a large platform for those FMB bank businesses. Secondly, it solves for a lot of the angst around kind of how do I make sure that I'm dealing with the trusted counterparty? How do I make sure that the payment instructions are correct? How do I make sure that kind of I'm protected as best I can as, as a customer? So we've, we've, we've put those pieces together. Um, I think we've also exploited all of the learnings in the retail space to try and make sure that uh, you know, the ability to use marketplace to link into locations to link into ratings is all embedded in that process. So it's a real nice way to give uh, South African small businesses in particular a leg up and a simple way to interact with the broader set of clients. And we've given them access to an EFT payment rail and a debit and card payment rail when they register on the platform. Uh, so yeah, I'm very excited about about this as a, if you like, a new beginning for, for platform-based stuff within the commercial bank shop.